Hello, it's Pastor Sarah. It's a little later than I normally post, but Saturday is the only day I get to sleep in. And by sleep in, it means I actually slept till seven today. So I'm getting started a little late, but I did want to share with you um, that finally Minnie got something else than a skirt. Uh, Minnie today got a handbag, um, which as most modern women will tell you, is not just a purse. It can hold uh, stuff for business. Mine is also a briefcase and uh, a catch-all for my kids. So um, she got herself a nice little handbag today. I've put her back in her original dress because um, she was wearing the other one for a while and it just seemed like Minnie needed to get a little update. And it goes with her new silver shoes. So she's, uh, she's going to hang out with her handbag while we read our next book. And so we need day five and day five's book is cars, the best present ever. And let's see what our story says. What do you think the best present ever would be? Hmm. All right. Hey, lightning, look at me. Woo. Mater sledged past his best buddy, Lightning McQueen. So a sledge is another way of saying a sled, depending on where you're from. It was wintertime in Radiator Springs. Christmas was just a few days away and fresh snow covered the ground. The two friends were taking turns sliding down a snow-covered hill using Mater's one-of-a-kind junkyard sledge. I'm telling you, this here's the best sledge in Radiator Springs, Mater cried. I know, you have told me, Lightning said laughing. Several times. It has its own headlights, super fast gliders, and built-in bumper tires, the friends said together. Well, hold your horsepower, said Mater, because it's going to be even more fun when we take it sledging at Kersploosh Mountain. Kersploosh Mountain was a water park near Radiator Springs. You ever been to a, a water park? I have. I used to live right next to Water Country USA, and I love to go there. For just one day a year at Christmas, the water slides were frozen over so that the cars could go sledging down the chutes. So here's Mater and there's Lightning McQueen. And here is a little kind of glimpse at this one of a kind custom made sledge. Uh, Mater, there's something I need to tell you. Lightning look worried. Remember that Russian ice racers cup I'm competing in? Well, sure, said Mater. The one in a few weeks. That's just it, Lightning said. They moved it up to this week. I'm not going to be here for Christmas after all. Mater stopped dead in his tracks. You're not? Lightning shook his head. I'm really sorry, buddy. I know I'll miss Christmas at Kersploosh Mountain. But hey, maybe we can do something else when I get back. Yeah, sure thing, Mater said, trying to hide his disappointment. Oh, look at their faces. Mater doesn't look happy, but neither does Lightning McQueen. We don't like to disappoint our family and friends. It doesn't make us feel good in here. Later on, Mater pulled into Flo's V8 Cafe. Hey there, Mater, Flo called. Want to try a sip of my new eggnog oil? It's guaranteed to fill you up with Christmas cheer. I could use some, said Mater. I'm all out of Christmas cheer. Something got you down, honey? Flo asked. Mater sighed. Lightning won't be home for Christmas. He's in some Russian rice cup. Yeah, that's too bad, Flo said. I guess you'll have to celebrate Christmas early. There's Miss Flo. And there's her eggnog oil. And there's poor Mater still looking all sad. Yeah, celebrate early. That's a good idea, said Mater. Then he thought for a moment. Oh, shoot. I forgot about presents. I gotta get lightning something. But what? Flo looked thoughtful. Hmm. Well, you're going to miss him while he's away, right? Yeah, Mater nodded eagerly. So how about getting him something for the race? So he knows you'll be thinking of him. Like earmuffs or a snow scraper or snow tires. That's a great idea, Flo. I know just where to go. Mater dashed off. Luigi, Mater yelled, and he skidded up to Casa Della Tires. I need your help. For you, Mater, anything, Luigi said with a smile. Those snow tires, said Mater, the ones that used to be in your front window. Where'd they go? I need to buy them for lightning for his cruising dice cup. He 
can't seem to get the title correct. <laughs> Luigi's smile faded. Ah, I can do anything but that. I'm afraid someone's already bought them. They just left a moment ago. Sure enough, outside, a big truck was driving away from the shop. So here's Mater, and there's Luigi. He's like a little Fiat. <laughs> Mater raced after the truck and explained the situation, then pleaded with the truck, I need those tires for my best buddy's Christmas gift. I'll give you anything. The truck sighed. Sorry, but I've been dreaming of speeding through the snow with these super fast tires. What if I told you I had something that goes even faster than those tires? Curious, the truck agreed to meet Mater at the edge of town. Meanwhile, Mater raced to his junkyard to grab his sledge. All right, Mater said when the two trucks met again. I'll bet my sledge is faster going down that hill than you in those tires. If I'm right, we'll trade. Deal? The truck agreed, and soon they were zipping down the snowy slope. Mater zoomed past the truck and won! The truck happily traded the tires for Mater's sledge. Here they are racing down. See Mater on the sledge? those snow tires on the other truck. Meanwhile, Lightning was helping Sally decorate the cozy cone motel. I feel awful, he said. Mater looked so sad when I told him. Well, said Sally, do you need to do the race? Huh? asked Lightning. It's not part of your normal circuit, Sally pointed out. I'm sure they'd understand if you didn't go. Lightning's eyes lit up. You're right. Mater is my best friend, and a trophy is just another trophy. I'm going to withdraw from the race and stay here for Christmas. So there he is talking to Sally. She Look, she's got earmuffs on. <laughs> Lightning raced home to call Vitaly Petrov, who was hosting the Ice Racers Cup. Vitaly told Lightning not to worry. He could reschedule the race for after Christmas. That works out great. Thanks, Vitaly, said Lightning. He couldn't wait to tell Mater the good news. On his way to see his best buddy, Lightning drove past a big sign for Kersploosh Mountain. He suddenly had an idea for the perfect gift. Look at that billboard. It's got Kersploosh Mountain on it. I love these cars on sleighs. <laughs> the next day, Lightning and Mater exchanged gifts. Open yours, open yours, open yours, cried Mater. Okay, said Lightning. But Mater, I have some good news that Lightning trailed off as he unwrapped the tires. You got these for me? He asked, looking up at his friend. Yeah, Mater grinned from mirror to mirror. If my best buddy can't be here for Christmas, then he sure as heck better win his blush and mice cup. Do you like him? Lightning was touched. Mater, I love them. But Mater was already ripping in to his gift. Then he saw the two tickets to Kersploosh Mountain and his eyes grew wide. Lightning shrugged. My race was delayed, so now I can spend Christmas with you, buddy. No way, Mater exclaimed. This is awesome. I can't believe we're going to Kersploosh Mountain on Christmas Day. And now I can take my sledge and... Uh-oh. So here they are exchanging gifts, right? There are the tickets and there's Mater and here's Lightning with his new snow tires. But uh-oh. Hey, where is your sledge? Lightning asked looking around. Mater shuffled nervously. Uh, I may have kind of sort of traded it to get you them there snow tires. The two friends stared at each other. Then... They started laughing. Can you believe this? Lightning exclaimed. We thought we were getting each other perfect Christmas presents, but we ended up getting stuff we can't use. Mater nodded. Yeah, but I tell you one thing, buddy. Spending Christmas together is still the best present ever. Lightning smiled. Same here, pal. I wouldn't change a thing. Look at them. It's nice to see him. Mater looked at the gifts. Well, shoot, what are we going to do with four tires and no race and two tickets and no sledge? A twinkling came to Lightning's eye. Well, we may not have a junkyard sledge, but we do have a junkyard. Mater, 
Didn't your old sledge have bumper tires? Mater bounced up and down. Oh, oh, I see where you're going. He started racing around his junkyard, collecting scraps to build a new sledge. This is going to be so cool. So here they are. They're going to work together and build a new one. On Christmas Day, Mater and Lightning sat at the top of Kersploosh Mountain. Beneath them was a new junkyard sledge, except this one was extra special. It had two seats, flashing Christmas lights, double gliders, and extra large bumper tires. It's Mater Sledge 2.0 with double the sledging fun, cried Mater. You ready for this? Lightning asked as they teetered at the top of the slide. You bet, said Mater. As long as I've got my good buddy with me, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Look at them. What a great sled. I love that it fits both of them. And they got to go and have a good time. I think that's a wonderful story. I'm not even the biggest Cars fan, but I like it. So what does this story tell us? It tells us that a lot of Christmas is not about us, but others. And it tells us that what's really important is paying attention to people, right? Or in this case, your best car buddy. <laughs> Mater and Lightning thought that they were going to try to get the perfect gift. But what was really the best gift of all was being with each other and their relationship. And so this year, I know that because of the COVID-19 virus and being isolated and practicing safe measures like social distancing and wearing our masks, that we might not get to see all the same people. But that doesn't mean that we can't take time to tell them in a myriad, a lot of different ways that we love them. We can call them and, and send them videos and video chat. We can draw pictures and write letters. We can do safe visits where we wear our masks and, and stay apart as much as possible. We can look for ways to tell people how important they are to us. Because long after we outgrow clothes or we wear out toys, long after we get tired of the things that we have right now, these relationships are what's really, really important. And Christmas reminds us this is the time to tell all those people, our family and our friends, our neighbors, how much we love them and how important they are to us and that no present will ever mean more than them. And I hope that you will join me in doing just that. This is a good story today. I can't wait to see what we have tomorrow and perhaps tomorrow Miss Minnie will have a chance to uh, finally wear those new awesome skirts she got the last couple days. <laughs> have a great day, guys, and I'll see you again soon.